Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we're going to be making some uh, washi esque items. <laughs> some washi, some washi. We're going to be making some washi. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you love junk journal stuff like we do. And also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. Also, um, please make sure you come over to the junk journal um, Facebook group. Y'all, my tongue tied for some reason. We have a Facebook group. <laughs> And it is Junk Journal Buddies. The link is in the description below. And um, I did some of this earlier. So some of the things and supplies that I use are actually the, in the links in the description. Okay. All right. So how is everyone doing today? I hope you all are doing fantastical. And I think y'all can hear me. Oh, yeah, y'all can hear me. Okay, I did good. I turned everything on. Hey, Journaler Scrapping and Chris, and Boo Boo Kitty and Sheila. Thank you all for coming on so early. I really appreciate it. So, as I always say, this is not a tutorial, but just me kind of working some things out. And I thought I would share with y'all. <laughs> I thought you would enjoy immensely this. So, first let me explain what washi is for people that are new to um, the washi the washi obsession. Uh, washi tape is usually made of like a natural fiber, and it's mostly made in Japan. And sometimes they call it rice paper. But it's kind of evolved quite a bit. And so um, now it's like just more of a, of a decorative tape. Sometimes it's very thin and translucent, and it also has a like a restickable um, adhesive. So that, it has a light adhesive on the back. So I'm sure everybody has seen washi, so I don't really have to show you, but here's a washi right here. And this one um, is almost into the tape realm because some some decorative tapes look like washi but they are not um so you have to be careful about that you have to really look and see what's washi and this is washi tape it's just a strong washi tape so some has stronger stronger uh adhesive on the back than others <laughs> washi 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 so what i did um was i actually i kind of made some today and i'll show you what some looks like in my um, book this is my junk journal book here and I've been working in it a lot lately and let's see let me find the page I probably should have had like a, a bookmark in here but you know you win some you lose some where you at I know you towards the front someplace it's in here somewhere y'all yeah um, I think I passed it wait let's look y'all getting a peek at my junk journal which I don't really care Y'all know I don't mind sharing. <laughs> I don't mind sharing with y'all. Hey, Chris. Oh, I think I said, hey, Chris. Did I say, hey, Chris? Yeah, I said, hey, Chris already. And Penny. Hey, Penny and Tamika and Jan. All right, let's see. Where are you? Yeah, I done lost it. I know. I knew it was in the front here. I think she's losing her mind. Wait, it's on the page that I just worked on. Where you at? Nope, not that page. All right, maybe it's further back. I'll find it in a minute. Anywho, so I know some people make washi by like using things like masking tape and then they um, put some type of a treatment over the top of it. Yeah, I, I cannot find that page. Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. Here's the page right here. So this is a page that I did and I've shown you several times, but this piece right here is actually what I call washi. But it's probably more on the tape side because I made mines with uh, some sticker paper. So I'm gonna show you how I make mine with some sticker paper. And I made some real pretty ones earlier. Hey, Livies, how are you doing? Hey, Li Liza. Liza, your your name is almost my name. <laughs> it's just missing a few letters. 
<laughs> okay, you've been binge watching? Girl, you in for a treat now. Okay, so here's some that I made. And let me, let me pull the camera a little bit closer so you can see. And let me fix the focus. So we got some good focus. Y'all know how I am about the focus. All right, let me take this off so y'all can see closer what I did. So these are all uh, on sticker paper. So I guess I guess I couldn't really call them washi, could I? Because they're more like stickers than washi. So I kind of made them into stickers. So maybe my title is a bit misleading. <laughs> It's a bit misleading, but when it gets like this skinny, it's like washy. So uh, y'all have to forgive me because I'm not trying to be misleading, but I like, I would like to call it washy. So that's what we, we're just going to go with that. We're just going to go with the washy thing. So here's some that I made earlier and I was like, I think I'm going to do this and show you all how I did it. It's really actually very, very beautiful. So all of these have a sticky back on them, of course. So let's see how, let's take one. Let me find a page and I'm gonna put one on here and see. We'll just take a page, doesn't matter. Let's put it like here. Go up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. And actually this goes very well. And actually I use like some of my, um, I use some of my gel pens too, y'all look at that. I have a whole bunch of colors. I was like, this is the perfect time to use my gel pens. Somebody asked me, do I ever use markers? Well, I'm going to use some markers today. So y'all see. So I can take this off and take this off. And I'm going to put this on here. And it's going to look beautiful, I promise. Ta -ta. Now, see, this this one that I'm using, it'll come up because it's like repositionable um, sticker paper. So repositionable is the key here. So isn't that beautiful? And then, so now I'm going to show you how I do like the um, the colors and all that stuff. And ugh, let's move that out the way and... We'll move these out the way. Now, I figure I could do this like two different ways. So this is actually some remnants of some sticker paper because it's actually label paper because I used this to do um, some labels. But um, what I've been doing is throwing this away. And then I was like, you know what? This stuff is like gold because I can make, make myself some stickers out of the scraps. So I could just take like a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet and then do whatever I'm going to do with it and then chop it, chop, chop it up. But, uh, the whole premise to this is using your scraps. <laughs> so I'm going to use scraps. And then this is just plain old cardstock again that I cut down. And so I can use that and then put some double stick tape on the back. Okay, so, but we're going to play with the sticker paper because that's the, that's the one I like. All right, I need something I don't have over here. Hold up. Hold up. Oy. Okay, y'all. Uh, she's coming. She needs some paper to protect her surfaces here because we're going to be doing some stamping. All right, so I'm going to take one of these pieces because it's like um, washi. <laughs> it's like washi for me, okay? And I don't know why I took my glasses off, but I think they're kind of dirty because everything looks really blurry. All right, I took out a few stamps. Now, this works best if you use like some small stamps. So I took some small stamps out and hold on y'all hold up let me get some stamps out here so i got some stamps here i'm going to use some butterflies if i can get them off this paper here okay there's one butterfly i know it's hard for y'all to see but that's okay and maybe a a boyd 
I'm gonna put a boy on here. So how was y'all's weekend? Did y'all do anything special for the weekend? I think I told y'all everything that I did for the weekend on the update. If you are part of our Facebook group every Sunday, I do a bit of an update and I come on and I always say it's going to be a short update and then uh, it always ends up being long because I never want to get off. So this was the longest update was yesterday and I went to the movies on Sunday. So I just let everybody know the movie was good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use some black stays on ink here. Hey, Jamie. And y'all, I have so much stuff in front of my face I can't see. Hold on, I'm going to move my mic so you all are going to hear it. Probably. Because, man, that's going to drive me nuts. I can't see my friends talking. All right, Sheila. Later. Y'all, something is on my stays on. I don't know what it is. Not buying any new ones unless I have to. All right. So I'm going to just do some stamping on here first with my butterfly. And that's why I needed to protect my surface because I knew I was going to go off the side. So I never used the stamp before. I feel like you have to use, use your stamps a couple of times for them to really pick up the ink real good. But I'm not going to worry that it didn't, it didn't really do very well. Hey, Kaleidoscope, we haven't seen you in a while. And let's try this in the middle again. Maybe I'll get a little bit closer. I don't know how I feel about this, but usually that's how I am before when I first start doing something. I don't know how I feel about it. And then I'm all in at some point. And I'm getting some wacky stamping too, but... That's all right. We'll be all right. It might just be the stamp itself. Sometimes I think the manufacturers, they don't make their stamps that well. I'm going to blame it on the manufacturer and not, and not my stamping techniques. Because <laughs> I know I have good stamping techniques. That's my story and I'm, I'm sticking to it. All right, so that's that one. I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit and I'm gonna do something different. Let's do, let's get another one that's about that size and do like some, um, some boids. Let's see how the boids turn out. Let's see how the bird birds turn out here. Make sure we got enough ink on this one. All right. Make sure I try to stay on the camera since uh, I put it up close. Ooh, now that one picked up the ink very, very, very well. I kind of have to, for this one, I'm not going to really do my little staggering technique this time. We'll just... And like I said, I, I don't mind that the stamp is, doesn't give it like full coverage because after I get finished with it, it's going to be very pretty. That's my story and I'm sticking to it anyway. Y'all, y'all know I'm a fan of repetition. I love repetition. Nope, Slim's still here. Slim is still with me. He's just very quiet. <laughs> oh, you love the spider story? I love that story too. That was my first time telling the story too. I think I did a I did a good story story time with that one. I actually, um, in case you don't know, uh, Liza, I always go back and I watch my videos because I don't, I just like, I like my videos, so I watch them. So I went back and I watched my own video and I was cracking up. I 
was like, that was really a funny story. Like, I watch my videos like I'm watching somebody else's videos. Like, I never heard <laughs> what happened in a video. It was my first time. Because I'm a little cray-cray like that. Y'all, I'm putting, like, the back of its tail on here because it just seems like it was missing something. So I wanted to give it, wanted to give it a little something-something. All right. And of course, these already have the sticky back on them, just like the one that I pulled apart. All right, so let's do something different. Um, of course, like I said, if you have small stamps, it works best. I'm gonna do some more of these birds that I have. And this time, I'm gonna use a, a fatter sheet so I guess it's a fat washi sheet. That's what we're going to go for. It's a fat washi sheet. <laughs> you think you, you don't think you're a good storyteller, but you probably are. You never know. You never know. Tell the story and find out if you're a good storyteller or not. All right. Get that ink on them birds. It's a bird day. I don't know why I'm picking birds, but they're kind of cool anyway. They got a little smooge on there, but that's okay too. I don't really care about the smooge. You're never going to see it. You'll never see the smooge. All right, so now I got those. Now I'm going to kind of fill in a little bit because we'll just put this off the, off to the side. I like the all the hanging uh, images. Makes it look kind of like wallpaper. I feel like a pro stamper when I do stuff like that. Ooh, y'all can hear it. It's thundering. My grass guy, he was supposed to come here last week. My, gr I can't hardly get in my front door. He called me. I'm trying to get there. He said, I'm right around the corner from you, and it's pouring down raining. He says, is it pouring down raining at your house? Nope. But I believe him because you could be up the street, and you could see the rain, and I haven't made it to your house. And since it's raining so much, of course... My grass is growing like uh, we're on the Sahara, or Serengeti, rather. All right, let's put something right here because it needs needs a little something, something. All right, I'm going to do one more, and this time I'm going to use something different. Okay, let's just put this over to the side. And yes, y'all know how I am about not cleaning stamps. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking for. I think I will try this uh, globe here. See how the globe works out. And we'll put this one on a fat one too. We'll do like two fat ones and two little ones. Oh no, you got kicked off. That's not right. Oh, the Bali Dragon Story. See, oh, Tammy, thank you for reminding me because I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about the Bali Dragon Story. Yes, 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 y'all smash the like button. Smash that like button if you're enjoying, enjoying our uh, junk journaling creative um, um, storytelling that I'm getting ready to do. Because we were, I forgot what we were talking about yesterday. Well, we were talking about the spider story. Because that was a hit. But um, I wanted to tell y'all about one of my, when I went to Bali. Actually, it's, it's quite a long story, but I'm just going to kind of, uh, I'm going to cut some of the story off and just tell y'all I was, the place that I stayed at, okay, how do I start? 
<laughs> usually I don't really like just start a story. It's like, oh, we're talking about talking about something else, and then I end up into the story. Okay. So <sighs> we'll just start. I'm just in Bali already. I'm in Bali and I end up I, I end up getting upgraded. My room gets upgraded for another story. <laughs> okay, my room gets upgraded from a regular room to like I don't even know what that room was. It was like the presidential suite at this place. And I ended up staying in that room for like 20 days, which was nice. And I didn't have to pay an upgrade fee. But anywho, the way the room was made, it was made, um, it was made so that you had to go up some stairs. And when you went up the stairs, it was like a veranda. It was like a big porch and it had a sitting area. It had an outdoor kitchen there. And it was like overlooking like the forest. And you could see the volcanoes there. It was just absolutely stunning. It was beautiful. And then it had a big room with a king size bed. The room was like so big you could put three king size beds in it. And it had a bathroom that had a uh, jacuzzi. Um, tub in it and it had a, a big shower but let me tell you y'all in Bali you don't get hot water <laughs> the water is always cold all right y'all I'm taking out my um my Tombow brush pens these are the pastel pens I love these pens they're very 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 beautiful and this is what they look like oh here's one and I put a link below to these and I love these brush pens um, because they actually have two tips on them. Yeah, I'm going to use this one first. Let me move these out the way. They have two tips on them. They have the brush tip here. And then they also have another tip on the other side. So it has like a like a different nib. It has a nib on that side. But I'm going to use, I like, I enjoy using the, the brush part. And you can do watercolors with this too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in just a little bit of um, the globe here, not the whole thing. So uh, Boo Boo Kitty asked me, uh, why was I in Bali and why 20 days? I actually was in Bali on a vacation. I went there for a vacation and um, I actually was there... For more than 20 days I was there for a month I went there for a, vaca a, a month vacation and that's another uh, talk show if you want to know why how did I get a month's vacation <laughs> and how I ended up in Bali but that's where I was at and um, but the room that I was in the, the first room I was in it became uh, uninhabitable let's say after uh, 10 days so I had to get moved so I ended up getting moved and and that's how I ended up in this presidential suite. And I made sure before, you know, they moved me that I wasn't going to have to pay any extra money. And they said, nope. I said, I could stay here the whole time. They said, yep. I said, okay, I'm in. So, so it was the, um, I love, I love the room and everything, but there was one thing that I did not like about the room and that was the lizards. Bali has some of the biggest lizards you ever want to see. As a matter of fact, I call them Godzillas. I, I, the reminder was just dragons, but I didn't really see dragons. <laughs> I saw the, uh, the lizards and they look like Godzillas. I call them Godzillas. I actually have pictures of them. I should have, I should have tried to pull up a picture for you all, so y'all could see. But it's too late for me to do that now. I would have did it earlier, but I forgot. But anyway, but what happened um, happens is so it had like a light on the veranda, so when I come up the stairs, you, um, you start you had to come onto the veranda to get into the room. But when the light was out, it was good. I would walk up there and I would 
go out. So when I would go someplace, I would leave the light out because when you leave the light on, then the lizards will come up there because the lizards want to eat the insects that are attracted to the light. So, but every time I would come back, the light would be on. So I asked the, I asked the front desk there. I was like, hey, uh, can we keep the light out? Because yeah, I got upgraded to the lizards too. And they were like, no, it's a safety hazard. We have to leave the lights on. And I was like, shoot. So I always had to make sure. I mean, I didn't have to make sure I was in, in. But this is the thing. It wasn't like just one lizard that you see. It was like a gazillion of them would be there. Because I guess that was their spot. And so... They would not only be, they wouldn't even be on the floor. You know where they would be at? They would be on the ceiling. So I had to try to get past these lizards. Usually I was in by that time because I knew, I knew what was up. But I couldn't leave my door open because I don't know if I want to put blue on here like this. I think I'm going to use a different color. Let me use a different color here. I also put a link to these gel pens too because I love these gel pens. They're actually supposed to have a scent to them, but they really don't, which is fine with me because I don't need I don't need no scent. I don't need no stinking scent. And I'm just putting I'm not coloring in the whole the whole image, y'all. I'm just I just like to have a little bit of shininess on here. And that's it. Hold up. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Because I don't know if you can see the shininess. So I'm just filling in a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. And then that's all I'm going to do to this. So let's see. Can y'all see the shininess? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. See, I put some blue on there. I messed it up. Well, kind of. Because y'all know. Nothing is a mess. <laughs> yep. They can climb. And it was lizards everywhere. So when I go to my when I went to my room and that light was on, I either had to walk over some lizards or I had to uh, duck from them. And one reason why I say duck, because they don't really jump on you or anything, but they be pooping, y'all. <laughs> they be pooping. So every day, like the wait staff had to come and clean off the veranda because it would just be poop everywhere from the lizards and they didn't make any noise and they didn't bother anything but the second piece to that was they they were not only poopers but remember I said they were Godzilla's y'all I can't even I can't even show you how big they were they were humongous and I remember when I first got to the place um, and we went to the room and there was a lizard on the wall and the guy just walked past it like it was nothing. <laughs> and I was like, uh, excuse me, I can't get into my room. And he just was like, they're not going to bother you. I was like, okay, let's just get the show on the road. Cold water and lizards could be a deal breaker. <laughs> Actually, the cold water was not a deal breaker because y'all know what? It was hot as H-E double hockey sticks there. So I really didn't mind getting in the cold water. But it was kind of strange because the bath water was like warm, not hot, hot. It was warm, but the shower, you, wasn't gonna get a, you weren't going to get a hot shower. But uh, at the same time, you probably didn't want a hot shower there because it's like, it was like really, really 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 warm well it was beyond warm it was hot hot so it's because as soon as you get out of the cold shower you'll be sweating again okay I got the focus I got the focus thank you because <laughs> it's a delay I saw it before you all said anything no -uh, I wasn't wishing for no spiders boo boo kitty I don't want to see no spiders there Ooh, especially there because that was a jungle there I did not want to see any spiders. I don't think I ran into any other critters. Just the lizards. Just the Godzillas. That was it. But that was enough. 
I still enjoyed my stay in Bali, y'all. That was one of the best, most relaxing vacations. I learned a lot while I was there. And y'all know what else? There was an earthquake while I was there. And I was in my bed and my um <laughs> I was in my bed and my bed just started shaking like this. It woke me up. It was shaking and then it stopped after a few seconds and I was like, what the heck was that? And then it started doing it again. It had an aftershock and it was shaking and I ran outside and you can't you can't see anything when you're in a when you're in an earthquake. And it was pretty significant. And I was like on the very top floor of the building, just the third floor, but still. It was like the um, very, okay, that's all I'm going to do to this one. So let me move that out the way and let's go to the next one because we'll, I'll be chit-chatting forever. Let's do the butterfly next. And this time we're going to do the butterfly with some colors. Let's turn this this way. But the earthquake didn't hurt anybody. I'm glad I wasn't there when they really had, they had a terrible earthquake. As a matter of fact, my driver while I was there, he said that his sister was killed in um, the big earthquake that hit Jakarta. He was a nice guy. He wanted me to stay in Bali. I was like, oh no. I said, I, I'm not staying here. <laughs> I'll be missing the US too much. I love the countries I go to, but Mm -mm. My sister got to go home. Actually, I could have lived there. It was very, very nice. So Judy says, why, do, why doesn't she get notifications of the live shows? Shows Anybody know? Okay, yep. For one thing, you have, of course, you have to be subscribed. You have to hit the notification bell, which is by the subscribe um, button if you haven't done that. And then the second thing is, um, the second piece of the puzzle is the device that you're on. You have to make sure that on your device that you have it so that you'll be notified of the, um, of when videos come out. Because if you're not, it's not going to show up, if that makes sense. And then it might could be YouTube too because YouTube, I don't know. It's I don't know if they're still doing like some experimental stuff with the notification bell, but like for me, sometimes I'll get notifications for people and sometimes I don't. But sometimes when I check, it's just that I don't have my settings done properly. So that might be something you want to check on. I have a whole Bali experience. That was just a little piece of the experience. Y'all had to go to the dentist while I was there. I had to, I had to get my room moved while I was there. I went to lots of Bali shows. I almost got picked up as a prostitute while I was there. There's all kinds of good stuff like that. I got all kinds of stories. Some stuff I probably don't even remember. I might have blocked it out. <laughs> You just never know. It's just like some crazy, crazy, crazy stories. Yeah, I don't know how I'm liking these colors as opposed to the ones I did earlier. Probably because I'm running my mouth. The ones I did earlier were just like so stinking beautiful. But this one, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I'm not even trying to get full coverage with this brush paint because I just like, I just like it to have like a hint of color in there. And that makes me happy. <laughs> hmm. Now that's interesting. You're not getting anything. I don't know what to tell you. Because you should be getting a little something something. 
let's try this pink this kind of blushy pink that to me is kind of doesn't really look that pink it look like a weird pink pink nonetheless yeah I, I like the Tombow markers or br brush pens rather I like them other than the the uh, glue, that's all I got. <laughs> the hooker story. <laughs> you want to hear the hooker story? I, well, I'm going to tell you, almost every country that I went to, somebody tried to pick me up as a hooker. I, You know, I was not scantily uh, clad in hooker clothes or anything. But... um. This, it's a shame to say, but in a lot of the um, a lot of countries and Asian countries, the uh, prostitutes are actually like African women. They um, ship them in, and then they're prostitutes. So, I used to wear my hair in braids all the time wherever I went, because you know, nobody wants to be doing their hair all the time when you're on a trip. And of course. Um, I was always mistaken for one of the African women. So guys would want to pick me up. So here is my hooker story from Bali. One day I called my driver because I had a, I met a guy. I met, the, I, I was walking one day. And I was walking across this bridge and I met this guy. And he just stopped and he stopped. I'll talk to anybody so it was all good. So... He was asking me some questions and stuff, and we we're just chit chatting. And he said that he was a a, a driver. He said he drives um, he drives people around. He could take me any place that I wanted to go, whatever. So I said, okay. So essentially, um, I made him my driver for the whole time I was there. And so when I wanted to go someplace, I would just call him, and I'd be like, okay, I want to go here today. Can you take me here? If he was available and which he usually was I don't think he was driving anybody else at that time and so and then I would get like advice from him and stuff like um, where I should go um, while I was there in Bali like I wanted to go to this place called monkey forest and he forbid me to go there he said nope he said you don't want to go there because he said, the monkeys are crazy and they have rabies and they jump all over people. He said, you don't want to go there. So I said, okay, I'm not going there. But, so I called him and, all right, so I'm finished with that one. And, so y'all, this is like a coloring show more than a washi show. <laughs> So I called him one day and I said I wanted to go to the volcanoes because I had all my brochures and stuff. And t really, I, before I go any place, I already know where I want to go because I'm a sightseer like that. And so I told him I wanted to go see the volcanoes. And he said, okay, sure, we can go there. And um, we went to the volcanoes. I got like some real lava rock and he gave me the little tour and everything. I saw where... Um, Julia Roberts did uh, Love, Eat, Pray and all that stuff. And um, at the volcano, they have the, like these springs, the springs that run off of the volcanoes. And they have it set up so like they have it set up like with pools. And so my driver went with me and stuff which was good because you know i don't want to be by myself or anything and nothing was going on with me and the driver but so he um so he was at the pool with me and we were just like waiting in the pool or whatever because i don't swim but i like being in the water and we're just chit chatting and stuff and then these guys came and it had one young lady with them it was a, a few um young men and like two older guys and they came and they got into the pool. They were like on the other side of the pool and stuff. And they were doing whatever they do. Uh, you know, I couldn't understand what they were saying or whatever. And um, then one of the guys came over and he started talking to me. Almost everybody speaks English. Almost. Not all the time. So he came over and 
he started um he started talking to me and he was telling me how beautiful I was and he's like oh you're so beautiful and I like your skin and your hair and stuff and he asked me how old I was and I told him and I was in my 40s then and I told him I was like I don't know I was like 45 or something like that and he says he looked at me he was like oh my gosh he said you're 45 years old he said I don't know if he was just you know just telling me that so you can get with me or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to go with I was really beautiful, okay? <laughs> hey, I miss... Oh, I see the pen I'm looking for. So, he was saying, yeah, the women where I'm from... He was from Papua New Guinea. And he said the women where, he's from, where he was from, they didn't look that young at 45 or whatever. I don't know if that's true. But I'm going to go with I was, you know, looking... I was looking hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and... So, what what the heck? Oh, sorry, y'all got distracted by a message on my telephone. So, um, when at the time when this guy was talking to me, my driver walked away from me. So, he left me. We were still in the pool, but he went to the other side of the pool. So, he was still there the whole time, but he was just like out of earshot. He just walked away. I didn't really know why he did that. But, um, so, um, after the guy start, stopped talking to me or whatever, I don't know what I'd said to him where he didn't, where he knew that I wasn't a hooker or what, I, I guess I didn't say the right words or whatever. So he, um, you know, we stopped talking and stuff and he went about his business with his family and whatnot. And then my driver came back over. And he says, my driver says, um, he said, I walked away on purpose because he said, I didn't want to get in your business, basically. And I said, oh, that was nice of you. Thank you. You know, and he said, but I'm just going to tell you why he's talking to you. <laughs> and I'm like, OK, what? Why? What? What? What's going on here? He said he's talking to you because his um, people. He said the men, the reason why they, there was only like one girl with them, he said because the men come over looking for um, women to sleep with. He said they come on vacation, just the men without their wives or anything, and they look for prostitutes. And he said he thought you were a prostitute, and that's how come he was talking to you. And I was like, oh. And I wanted to, I didn't say it, but I wanted to say, and you left me with that guy? What the? I mean, he wasn't my boyfriend or anything, but still, he could have protected me. I mean, I don't, th I don't think they wanted to do me any harm, but I was like, that dirty dog. They thought I was a prostitute. Ugh. Just like the rest of those raggly men. <laughs> It is, boo-boo kitty. It is. Y'all yeah, missing the chat because I was looking down, so I don't know what y'all talking about. And <laughs> Get out of your dreams. Get in my car. <laughs> boo-boo kitty, I'm convinced that you're a comedian. I'm convinced of that because you are really funny. Y'all yeah, like coloring the birds in. I told y'all this is more of a coloring thing than anything, but... I do like the way these are coming out, though. And I love these brush pans because it's like you're painting, but you're not. <laughs> yeah, bad driver. My driver was cool, though, y'all. He was cool. He called, I called him, no, he called me one day because he had my number, too. And he says, uh, he says, I can't, can't take you anywhere today. And I was like, he said, because I have something to do. And I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. And um, he said, we're having a temple ceremony at our um, at our home, at our compound. And I said, oh, that sounds interesting. And, of course, me being me, the uh, American, I was like, oh, well, can I come, too? I want to see. <laughs> I was like, can I come? And he said, yes. 
He said, you can come, he said, but you have to get something special to wear. He said, it's a special occasion. He said, you have to get something special to wear. He said, he said I'll come pick you up. He said, but I'm not bringing the car today. He said, I'm going to bring my uh, motor, motorcycle or whatever, or his moped, because they drive a lot of mopeds over there, right? So I was like, that's fine with me. I was like, come on, pick me up, because I ain't doing nothing else. So you might as well come and get me. And so um, now... Our special um, dress is like getting dressed up, putting pantyhose on and all that stuff. Theirs is very, very different when it comes to dressing up. So he took me to a shop. And at the shop, the only thing I had to get was a sarong. I just needed a sarong to go over my clothes. I had a t-shirt and a sarong and I was dressed up, basically. (laughs) The driver could have mentioned that before he left. What you know what? The guy was already over there talking to me. And you know what? He was very respectful. He said, he said, I didn't say, he said, I didn't want to get in your business because maybe, maybe I would have went home with the guy. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of good. He didn't know, he didn't know what we was talking about. We might have been talking about how much money he was going to give me. <laughs> so. You know, it's all good. But where was I at? Oh, the temple ceremony. So the temple ceremony, y'all. So we got to, um, when we got to his, their compound, and I call it like a compound. I'm using a artist loft brush for this because I, I need the brown. And I'll have a brown one in this pastel set. So, and these have the artist, um, the tips as well. And they got, got the little nib on that side also. So this is Artist Loft, and they're good too, but I can tell the difference. The Tombows are better than these. Okay, but anyway, back to the story. Yeah, the sarongs are a dress-up for them. And what I did when I went to the store, and they don't cost that much either. So y'all didn't spend hardly, I didn't hardly spend that much money while I was in Bali. So if it sounds like I'm a big spender, believe me, I'm not. I picked going to Bali for a reason. (laughs) Because I knew I could stay there on the cheap. So anyway, and I can do do all the things I wanted to do with my limited budget. So if in if you think it costs a lot of money to travel, you just need to do your research because you can get some fabulous deals if you're willing to like compromise some things. So anywho, because I, I I got in that presidential suite for a reason, but I'm not gonna talk about that one right now. Um, but the uh. Oh, when I went to get the sarong, I got two. I bought two of them. They were like $5 a piece, so I got two. And I got one for me, and I bought one for his mother. Because I wanted to bring a gift for her. And uh, I thought that would... And I asked him, I said, would, would it be all right to get your mom one of these as well? And he smiled, and he was like, yes. He said, she's going to love it. And... um. And because I wanted to make sure, because sometimes you know you have to be careful with with um, countries' customs too. I didn't want to just give her something if it wasn't appropriate, so that's why I asked. And he was very good at it and of informing me of stuff. Yeah, Boo Boo Kitty, that's true too. Because all the Asian con- countries I've been to, they always wear very loose clothing, and. So when we got to the compound, I met his mother, and she was this little, oh, y'all, I got all these pictures over on my blog, too. So if y'all want to go to Liz for a day, now, there ain't much happening over Liz for a day, but the stories are still there. And if you go into the menu under travel and you go to Bali, I have I documented every single day when I was there. And these stories are all there, actually. So they're real. But um, when I met his mother, um, she was this little lady. She had like two teeth in her mouth and her toes was like all jacked up and stuff because she had been working in the rice paddies all her life and her back was bent over and everything. And she couldn't speak any English, but my driver spoke spoke perfect English and his children spoke English as well because I met them too. And um, when I met his mother, he gave his mother the sarong and told her it was for me. And she smiled and she was happy. She said, thank you and everything. And then she disappeared. 
she disappeared. She just took off with the thong, with the sarong. I was like, okay, all right, all right. I don't know where this is going, but okay. So then um, I met his family and his children and stuff. They talked to me and everything. And he showed me around their compound, which I learned a lot about their people. And, I, you know, as an American, like, I, we, we, we just have too much stuff. We have so much stuff, and they live so sparsely. They just had, like, you know, like a little shed over their head and then, in, you know, a bed or whatever and my um uh, my driver was like you can come stay here you don't have to stay in that expensive hotel I was like no <laughs> no thank you thank you but no thank you I don't think so that's not what we're going for here but anyway so he showed me like they they didn't have a kitchen but they had like I don't even know how to explain it it was just like this this little room that you walk into from the outside didn't have any it had some windows didn't have like screens or nothing in there and it, there was this um it was a hot plate it had a hot plate and it had a pot of rice on it and um the and I'll look at my colors and my driver said that he had given his mother that hot plate for a gift and she was so happy so that she could make the rice in it and stuff. And, of course, you know, y'all, there was flies and stuff everywhere. Of course, I didn't say anything, you know. But they uh, they wanted to feed me. That could be a problem. Because I know that even if the food is good, there could be some bacterial stuff going on in there um, because their hygiene is different but their stomachs are made different as well so they can take it but you know when in Rome you can't eat as the Romans do because you have a different kind of uh, different kind of immune system than they do so I was like no I'm not hungry uh, but they still they just they practically begged me they wanted me to eat something so I was like okay all right, um, I'll take like a drink or something like that. So they brought me like a canned drink and like some cookies and stuff like that. And I ate, I did eat some of it because I didn't want to be rude. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't get sick or anything, and the, there was nothing wrong with the food. It was okay. But like I said, when in Rome, you don't eat like the Romans do because you'll get sick. And it will be like, you'll be really sick. But I didn't get sick. I'm surprised. I didn't get sick the whole time I was there. And I did eat some of the local food. But anywho. So for this ceremony. What they do. Is they. Um, they hire. They have to actually pay, pay. A Buddhist priest to come to their house. To bless like the grounds. And they said. That they have to do this. Once a year. And if they don't do it, then the spirits will be angry and bad things will happen to you. So it's a kind of a superstitious thing. So wait, let me see what y'all writing up here because I'm, I'm missing a lot of stuff here. Yep, the sarong was a great gift for his mother. I was so happy. I mean, I would have got her like three of those. I had the money. I could have got, you know, $20 worth of sarongs. Um, but if I would have known that was going to make her as happy as it did, <laughs> I got the presidential suite because, because I thought I was a prostitute. I almost did. People keep trying to pick me up like that. <laughs> I did hint there, there's a story. There's a story, boo boo kitty. There's a story, but we only have so much time. <laughs> You know, I thought about that, Tammy. Tammy says it sounds like a great idea for a junk journal um, print out and stories and photo. I might do that one day. Just do, I'll print some photos out and tell you guys some more stories. So I got a bunch of them from Bali. (laughs) 
oh, uh, Judy talking about the, oh, girl, I'm not even going to talk about the hole in the floors, okay? I'm not going to talk about the hole in the floor, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, turning down the hospitality would have been rude. So it's like you have to, like, give a little. I mean, I could have just been totally rude, but I I'm, I don't want to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that guy. It might be two hours. What? How long have we been on? Oh, we almost been on an hour. So let me finish this story. Okay, y'all. So I'm pretty much I'm finished with it. Y'all, these came out pretty. Okay, but what I'm going to do is. Did I finish this one? No, there's a, I got, I forgot to give him some eyeballs. Okay, but anywho, where was I? All right, so, okay, so we got to the priest part. Okay, so now they're going to start the ceremony. And I actually have a video on my YouTube channel of the ceremony. And I'm, I think it's public. It's one of the first videos I put on here because it was back in, maybe it's like in 2012. So you got to go way back. To, um, to see the uh, temple ceremony but it was kind of funny because his son was like eight years old and he had like a game boy like a uh I, and I was thinking how can they afford like a game boy but he had a game boy and while the while the buddhist priest was doing the temple ceremony he was playing the game boy it was like they were just to me it was like they were having the um they were having the ceremony as a formality, but it was like, it was really crazy. And they were like dinging this bell and it was like, ding, ding. And he would say like his prayer, blah, 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 ding, ding, ding. And everybody was sitting there and the little boy was playing like his Game Boy. And then at one point they had to get up and they had to like walk around like the area where they had, um, I guess, I don't think they had cremate, cremated remains or whatever there, but they had to walk around like the area where we were at and they had like this chicken, they had a dead chicken and they were walking around with the, with the thing. And it was like, they were so nonchalant about it. Like it was just, like I said, it just seemed like a formality to them. It was kind of, it was really, it was kind of hilarious to be at, but I didn't laugh and it was hot as all get out. And, um, I was up under an umbrella. They gave me an umbrella because they were polite like that. And, um, what else about that temple ceremony? I was going to say something else, but I forgot. But the whole thing, it was kind of funny. And then, uh, oh, they had like food all over the place. So because they feed the gods, so they'll have like food like high up um, on the tip up on the temple and then like low because they're like feeding the lower gods and then the higher gods and every place you go in Bali there's food everywhere on the ground and stuff because they're appeasing the gods so that um they will have they won't have bad luck because they're very superstitious people let me put a little put a little gold on this one too and then after that, then I sat and I talked to his children a little bit because they spoke English. And he said he was teaching his kids to speak English because um, he wanted them to be able to get like a job on a, a cruise ship or something. Because if you've ever been on a cruise ship, there's a million people from um, Indonesia that work on cruise ships. Cause, so that's one of their main jobs that they have. So y'all, these look pretty, don't they? All right, I'm just going to finish these up. Because basically the story is over <laughs> about me going to the compound. But, oh, I didn't tell y'all. I told y'all his mother disappeared when I first gave her, when I gave her the sarong, she disappeared. And then I didn't see her again into the temple ceremony. Well, when she came back to the temple ceremony, guess what she had on, y'all? She had her new dress sarong on. She was sporting it. That made me so happy that I was able to give that to her. And so she was enjoying her sarong. And um, as a matter of fact, when I finally left Bali, uh, my driver said that his mother still had that sarong on. <laughs> that was like two weeks later. <laughs> he said she's wearing it every day. She loves it so much. But there, that's not a big thing to wear your clothes every day. Here, 
people will like run you out of town with pitchforks if you wear your clothes more than one day but um i've met a lot of people from different countries and normally they wear their clothes for at least a week so until their clothes walk off of them we're the only country where we change our clothes like crazy Yes, I was glad that I asked him about um, that, uh, if she would like it. But still, even when he said that, yes, she would like it, I still had no idea that she would like it that much. So that was like a pleasant surprise. And I guess my mama trained me right to kind of take something to somebody's house. Because I knew they were having like that special ceremony, so... I just, I didn't know what, what to give them. So I was like, well, can I give your mother something? Because I knew she lived, their whole family stays together. So like they had an uncle that was there and the kids were there. And as a matter of fact, my driver was divorced. He said his wife left him with the kids. And of course, you know, I'm like, why she leave you? He said, because she said he was lazy. <laughs> So she left with the kids and she went and got remarried and had some more kids with another man. And and she just doesn't even like. Because I think in countries like that, the men get the kids in a divorce. But, I mean, he didn't seem lazy to me. He did what I needed him to do, so he drove me around. So that's that's all I needed. <laughs> story making for two days is that the Amish got it right oh I guess I answered your question Penny about the driver's wife the driver was divorced and his wife left him found her another man had some more babies and I asked him if she talked to uh, his kids and stuff, he, he said no. He said she didn't talk to the kids that they had together either. I wonder how he figured out that she um, had more kids. I guess maybe they stay in the same area or something. That's, kind of, that's just jacked. So jacked. But me and my driver, we really did become really good friends and stuff. But, I mean, we were together every day, so. He helped me get around, and he told me stories. And to tell you the truth, it was, like, good company, so. And like I said, there was nothing going on. He just took me where I wanted to go, and I paid him, so. I paid him. So technically, he was the hooker minus the sex. <laughs> yep, I left them behind to come back. Come back here to the States because... You know what? I could definitely live in Asia, though. I loved it there. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Bali story. And the beautiful... Y'all look at the beautiful... It almost looks like I did this out of cardstock, huh? So now these are ready to use actually because all I have to do is peel the back of these off since it's sticker. But if this was regular paper, which I was going to do some regular paper, but I didn't, you can just use double stick tape on the back of these. So you put your double stick tape on there and then all you have to do when you're ready to use it is just pull the tape off. But um, if you use the sticker paper, you can actually you can cut these into shapes if you wanted to or make them smaller and whatnot. <laughs> All humans like to talk. Some like to talk more than others. That would be me. I'm raising my hand. That would be me. <laughs> I like to talk. So wherever I go, I ask a million and one questions. Yep, I had me a Bali gigolo. I could have had me a Bali gigolo really easy. You could pick somebody up really easy. That's how I know um, that chick, Elizabeth Gilbert, because you know that was based on a true story where she went to Bali and she met, met her man there that had the export business. That could have been me, y'all. That could have been me. 
because I met a lot of people from Australia there because Bali is close to Australia. So that's a, a, um, a vacation destination for Australians is Bali and Papua New Guinea, obviously. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Liza. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you all. It is raining to beat the band. I'm surprised um, our power hasn't gone out because it usually flickers. Um, it usually flickers. Let me show y'all, give you a closer look at the other ones as well that I already did. Let's move all this stuff out the way so we can wrap it up for the day. Let's move the distractions out the way. Let me move back down. Let's make sure we're focused. Let me take my old lady glasses off. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Okay. So this one I didn't do that much to, but I did add. Let me get, get a little closer. A lot closer. I like this camera set up. It didn't always be like this. Oh, it's a... Um, Hurricane inbound. I gotta look at that. I ain't ready for no hurricanes. Okay. I should be. The hurricane season been on since May. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I just put like I used my um my glitter pencils, pins, glitter pins, and I just put a little bit of color on here. And of course I ran went around the whole thing, but I left I actually, this had an extra bike on here and I colored it. I didn't like it, so I threw it away. I cut it off and threw it away. And I just left this blank because the stamp was so dense, it just really, it didn't look good colored in. So that's the bicycle. And here is a D typewriter. Right here. So you can use your stamps to do this. Again, you can just do like a full sheet of sticker paper and cut it down. But it defeats the purpose of using your scraps. Y'all look at these butterflies. Ooh, and I put the gold part or the glitter part like on the body and on the antennae. And also the color that you see on the wings is glitter as well. Oh, it's coming off Sunday. Ooh, uh-oh. How strong is it? Y'all, I don't watch the news, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is the first time I heard about it. <laughs> I am in Central Florida, so I'm as inland as I'm going to get. Hey, Roberta. So, Liza, you're in South Carolina. So, is the hurricane, I don't know which way is the hurricane going. Y'all, I'm going to have to look it up now. See, I don't know. Y'all just now telling me about a hurricane. Y'all know I don't watch the news. <laughs> so, on this balloon, I actually stamped this with the Distress Ink. And then I used some gold pen for some highlights. As you can see. Next. <laughs> Yep, I done told the prostitute story, so you have to watch the uh, the replay to hear the rest. Oh, the only way that you knew is a hurricane tracker. I'm gonna have to go look at that. Look at the ballerina; she's pretty. And I purposefully, like when I colored it in, I made it really blotchy, so it looks like she has like on a fluffy dress, doesn't it? She's pretty. You're watching closely. I'm coming to your house. You got a generator, uh, Rachel. <laughs> Actually, I have a generator, so we should be okay. We just need to uh, do everything that we need to do to get ready. Because, you know, the generator is no good if you don't have any gas, right? <laughs> so I guess I need to get some gas. And see... The little birdie sitting on the perch. I, I think I like the birds the best. All right. Yes, don't forget thumbs up, thumbs up. And this one is kind of, it looks plain, but it's not. It actually has some gel pen on here. It's in green. And I kind of outlined where the stamp was at on these. I love this one too. Nice and plain.
And here's some more of the birds. Did them in different colors. We did these together during story time. Oh, good girl, rain every day. I don't know what rain is like. It's raining like crazy right now. It just made it here. Ooh, look at that. So my grass might not get cut until next week. By then, I don't know. I might get lost in the grass coming in the house. Got that one. Yeah, you all got to check out Scrap Craftastics. Um, videos she has some cool videos it's mostly planner but she's dabbling into the junk journal stuff as well her stuff is always on point and she does i know y'all love haul videos she does a haul video every week because she'd be shopping at walmart like that I told her she needs to stay away from walmart she's gonna bring somebody's kid home by mistake <laughs> Yeah, the globes are very pretty. They're elegant, aren't they? My little birdies. Yeah, I wanted to use these. I made some earlier, and I wanted to use them in my um, in my journal because y'all know I use my journal. Yeah, I need a machete. <laughs> Let me show y'all the page that I did today. It's over on the Patreon page, the process video for this. Let me find it. I can't find nothing these days. Where are you? Oh, here it is. This is the page that I worked on today. I did some mixed media today. I was really happy about that because I haven't did any mixed media in a while. Yeah, if y'all want to get to a Scrap Craftastics channel. Um, where she just commented at, if you hover over her uh, comment, you'll see three dots on the right hand side. If you select the dot that says go to her channel, you will be able to go to her channel. If you're not subscribed already, you should be. And she's also a member of our group as well. So you can contact her through the group or you can just go to her channel. <laughs> so this is what I worked on. I love this. I know it's a lot of stuff going on on this page, but um, that's me. Me in a nutshell, too much stuff. All right, you all. So I am going to go ahead and head off. I might do some more of these too. I don't know. I don't think I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if I do eight more, then I have my project 20, or I can just cut a few of them, and then I'll have my project 20 as well. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for listening to my crazy stories. I really appreciate it. I have fun. So with that, I am going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.